Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you love DIY, thrifting, home decor, you are in the right place. Today, I have a thrift haul for y'all and I have some more exciting announcements. Now, I'm not gonna have announcements every single video, but I have been working really hard on some things behind the scenes all summer and it's just kind of all coming out at one time and I am so excited to show y'all what I have coming up. So definitely stay tuned for that. Today's thrift haul, usually my thrift hauls have a theme. <laughs> Today is definitely pottery. Somehow I picked up a lot of pottery pieces and when I thrift, it's usually at Goodwill, different thrift stores, the Goodwill bins, and I think I might have some garage sale stuff as well. So let's get started with the haul. These little watering sets with the pitcher and matching bowl, I do come across, but not normally for a good price. And then I went to Goodwill, y'all, and in one day I found three of them. So I decided to buy all three. I've never resold these before. And since they were such a great price, I figured I'd go ahead and give it a try. And that is the best way to learn how to resale. You just never know what's gonna sell. Now in Louisiana, I knew my customers very, very well, and I knew what I could buy, and I knew what I could resell. But now that I have a website, it's like I'm having to relearn everything. So you may see me picking up pieces that I haven't picked up before, but you never know unless you try. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these up on the website and see how they do. This one is beautiful. I love the color and the shape of it. It is very unique. It is signed at the bottom, so it may be, you know, a one-of-a-kind piece. I'm not positive, but like I said, love the size, love the shape, love the beautiful details on it, um, and the color. So I grabbed this one, and it was $7.99. So this was the most expensive one that I picked up. This is actually a newer piece. It is a Williamson, no, no, I'm sorry. It is Lennox and it is a French Percal collection. And I just loved the beautiful design on it and the little kind of distressed edges. I thought it was absolutely adorable. And I think the great thing about these sets is you can pair them together like this, but you can also separate them as in your home, like use this as a fruit bowl and use this as a vase. You know, you don't have to keep them together. So it kind of gives you some options. And then this one right here, I actually found in two different spots on the thrift store. So I saw this vase first and I really liked the floral on it. I thought it was perfect, not only for fall, but you could definitely use it for spring as well or year round, you know, flowers never go out of style. And then, <laughs> Like three or four aisles down, I found the bowl. So I went back, I did not pick up the picture, um, but once I saw it had a matching bowl, I went back and grabbed both of them. So this one was uh, $3 and this one was $2. So it was $5 together for the set. What did I pay for the other one? I don't think I told y'all. Um, oh, I paid, I paid $5.99 for this one. So I feel like, it's, you know, a minimal investment to see how they resale on the website. I've also been gravitating towards a lot of blue pottery. I just love this color. I think it looks amazing in my home with white and brown tones and greenery and all of that. And look at the little scalloped edges on this one. I just thought it was absolutely adorable. This came from Goodwill. It has, I think that's an H and an R on the bottom and it was $2.99 for this piece. And then this one behind me, I do know that this is a crock set because I have come across the whole set before, but this is even better because it was only $1.99 and it's only the flower one, but look how huge it is. I like that it is missing the lid because now it is perfect to add decor. So you could add rolling pins with a little napkin coming out, some little wooden spoons, some greenery, or you could definitely just put a plant on here. Look how big this is. Angels is also something that I did not thrift before, but I have found that they sell 
very well on the website. Now they have to be special, they have to be unique, they have to be cute. So I am picky about the angels that I pick up, but if that's something that I've learned that sells well. So I actually have two of these. Look at that sleepy little face, how adorable. This is definitely an amateur piece because it has all the seams. Can y'all see that? So what happens is when the ceramics come out of the mold, it has seams and you're supposed to sand those off before you paint it and this person did not. Um, so I definitely want to point that out if that's something that bothers you. It does not bother me. I think it's still adorable and then you could have both of them and turn them into bookends if you want or you know they just look absolutely adorable by themselves. They do have like a little bit of a bluish tint on the wings. I don't know if y'all can see that. I thought like they were just super super precious. I just I can't pass up a cute angel face now. <laughs> So if you're wondering if angels sell well, for me, they have been selling very well. This would not be a Julie Hall without a basket. So I do have one basket and it is a good one. I paid, where's the price tag? Y'all, this basket was $3.99. I'm trying not to pick up baskets unless either I know where I'm gonna put them or I know I'm gonna resell them. This one, I know I'm keeping. <laughs> But I don't know yet where I'm going to put it, but I just knew for the size, the shape, the color of this basket, there was no way that I was leaving it at the thrift store. So I will find the perfect place for it. But yeah, once again, it just looks great with my decor in my home. And then these, let me show y'all these. I passed by this wallpaper probably for at least a month and it just caught my eye every time I passed by but I left it and then finally one day it was just like I can't leave it anymore so it was um six dollars for both of them three dollars each and I really think that I want to incorporate this in Ren's room let me open it up actually and let's get a good look at it now I don't want to do wallpaper I just don't want to okay um, so I'm thinking of incorporating this in different ways in her room, but I'm not positive yet. But I figure for six dollars, um, you know, I would just grab it and have it on hand. Y'all, oh my gosh, I feel like I made the right decision. Look how pretty. Ooh, it has a smell to it though. I might have to let this air out. That is gorgeous i feel like it's all the pretty little girl colors okay i i love this i love it rolled up and i love it even more now that i've unrolled it so y'all let me know what y'all think about this paper oh my gosh i'm so excited i've just had this rush of inspiration and i feel like i immediately need to go work in her room don't you just love it when you pick up something that just totally inspires you? And y'all, this is like, this is some nice, thick wallpaper too. This is some, this is some good stuff. That's so, so exciting. Also got one more thing for her room. Y'all know how I feel about lamps, although I've been coming around. <laughs> but your girl, Ren, is not a lamp hater like her mom. She loves her lamps. So she currently has one in her room but I find it's a little bit bright. It's a bigger lamp. I probably need to get like a lower voltage bulb for it, but I think this will be the perfect little night light for her. I did try it and it works and look how adorable this is. So I am keeping this. I think I paid, I don't know, a dollar or two for it, not too much. Um, And this is gonna be so cute in her room. Oh my gosh. All right, little girl room makeover might be coming up soon because I am super excited about all the stuff that I've been finding. All right, I got a few more things in the haul and then we'll get to the exciting announcements that I want to tell y'all. Okay, I got this from a garage sale and I just, look at this. That is just beautiful. It says it is 100% recycled glass made in Spain. I love everything about this, the shape, the size. I especially love the texture on this piece. I paid a dollar for it. 
Actually, I think the next few things I'm going to show y'all, I paid a dollar for. I'm pretty positive this is milk glass. It says Maki on the back of it, but I just think it's precious. And I like the floral pattern of it. I like the shape of it. I like everything about it, especially the price. It was only $1. And then here's another little piece. How beautiful would this look with some pink little flowers and stuff? It was also $1, like I said. This piece came from the Goodwill bins. Now, I'm not crazy about this, but what I do love is the amazing handles on this piece. And then the other side is blank. So you could absolutely leave it as is. This would look amazing with some florals hanging out of it, but you could add a stamp or a transfer or something right here. I love this so much. I've actually been on the hunt for some handles because I really want to make some more bags. Y'all remember this cute little drop cloth bag that I made? Yes, I want to make some more of these. I am on the hunt for some handles like this. I have scoured the internet but if you find some, if you happen to come across a place where you can buy nice rattan handles, definitely leave me a comment because I have been looking. I want to make some more bags. So, okay, that's it for the haul. And now let's get to the new stuff that I'm be carrying. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just like so giddy with excitement. So if you don't know, in January, I started a website. And then a few months later, I started carrying Iron Orchid Designs, which I had been using and loving for years. And that has went absolutely amazing. And I have been on the hunt for a paint line to sell because I felt like that was the next logical step. So behind the scenes, I've been trying different paint lines and one absolutely stood out to me immediately and I just decided I was gonna do it. I was going to carry this paint line. So before I tell y'all, y'all leave a comment below and guess what paint line you think I'm selling. It, ha it is one I've been using lately. And let me tell you why this paint line stood out to me. I am, I use a lot of white in my channel and it's not that I don't like color, it's just that I am very picky about it. And I feel like this paint line, the colors are just on point. I love them. Also, I'm a lazy DIYer. I don't want to have to clean nothing. I don't want to have to prep nothing. I don't want to have to seal nothing. <laughs> I do not like doing that. And with this paint line, you don't need to do any of those things. So I feel like it was just made for me. So if you have not guessed it already, I am going to be selling Fusion Hold on, let me show y'all the label. <laughs> Fusion Mineral Paint. So it is currently not up on the website. Tomorrow, I've got to tell y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tomorrow, Wednesday, September 7th, I'm having my website sale. So all of these items that I thrift every single month, they go up for sale once a month. It's the first Wednesday of every month. And I also use that as a date to launch any new products that I have. So at this current moment, these products are not up, but if you're watching this video after the seventh, they will be up and I'll have links in the description below. <laughs> I am not a very good salesperson as y'all can see. So yes, all of the stuff you saw in a thrift haul will be up, including the stuff I am about to show y'all. So let me show y'all the colors that I have. Now Fusion Paint has so many different colors and the way that I run my business, I run an all cash business. So if I do not have the money for it, then I do not buy it. So unfortunately I cannot carry every paint color right off the bat. It's going to be a slow build just like IOD was. Eventually I hope to carry everything that they offer. But for now, I just picked what I thought was my most favorite colors. And if you have a most favorite color, let definitely leave me a comment so I know next time exactly what to order. Um, so I'm just gonna show y'all real quick some of the color selection. I did paint them because I feel like they look a little bit different um, wet than they do dry. So I really want to try to show y'all the true colors. This is called Chester. 
and I really want to repaint all the furniture in my boys room because I think this is the most beautiful color for a little boys room. It reminds me of the color of my son Brandon's room at our home in Louisiana. If y'all saw his room, it is the most beautiful deep blue and it gives me lots of mid-century modern vibes, which I think is perfect for a teen boys room. This is cold black, which is just, I mean, you can't go wrong with a classic black, so I definitely want to have black and white. This is soapstone, which is my personal favorite. A lot of things in my home are about to be painted this color. It's kind of that grayish blue that I love, and I have a lot, a lot of this color throughout my home, so I can't wait to, to paint some stuff with this. This is French eggshell. Y'all have seen me use this color a lot. It is absolutely beautiful and looks amazing with white wax. Okay, I'm not 100% sure how to say this, but it's called Champlain. I'm pretty sure. And it's kind of like this beautiful taupey color. It is a great chameleon color because I feel like when you put it next to other colors, it kind of takes on that color. So you put it next to green, it has this kind of green tint. And then you put it next to blue and it kind of has this bluish tint. So it's just a great, great um, color that will pair well with a lot of different items. Um, okay, so that's that color. This one y'all have also seen me use a, a lot. It's called Little Lamb and it is absolutely the perfect gray color. So if you're looking for the perfect gray, this is it. If you want to do that faux cement look, this is perfect. That's what I've used it a lot for. This is a color that I've used in Ren's room. It's called Peony. And why don't we see what it looks like with the wallpaper? Now, is that not the most perfect mash ever? So, Little Girls Room Peony is where it's at. I love this color. It's, it's not, you know, too bright. It's kind of like the perfect vintage pink. Love it. This is Manor Green. This is going to be amazing for Christmas. Actually, let me show y'all what I think are the perfect Christmas colors. So, this is Manor Green, and this is fork yolk red which if you're looking for a brighter red for christmas this is it and then this is highlander which is more of like a deeper red and i think the three of these are just perfect for christmas and i think this one's really great for year around it's just kind of that dark deep green that a lot of people have been loving in their house okay this one i used on my video was it last week evert i think this is the perfect green if you have been looking for the perfect green this is it evert look y'all i think it's just so beautiful with natural wood and look how good it looks with drop cloth this is it I'm not going to be painting stuff in my house this color, although I really want to. I feel like the soapstone is more with the vibe I already have going on in my house. But I also love this color so much. So probably some decor will be get, getting painted that color. Okay, my 12-year-old daughter loves this color. We're going to try to figure out where we're going to put it in her room. It's called Damask. And it is beautiful. It's kind of like that moody, blushy pink that has been so popular these past few years. And look how good it looks with Peony. So I think the two of these look really well together. I could definitely incorporate this in Ren's room as well. And it would fit in perfectly. All right, we got to try it next to the wallpaper again. Yeah, I think that works. So the mask, Peony, great little colors. This is Bedford. So if you like that sagey green color, that is what this is. I think this would look great with white wax or dark wax if you want it to lighten it up or darken it up. But it's just a beautiful sagey green color. Then I got two different whites. This is definitely going to be my favorite. This is Victorian lace. And I feel like it's... Um, 
pretty close to my wall color actually it's white but it is a very warm beautiful white and it doesn't really throw off any shades of yellow or anything like that it's just it's a really good white and if you want something a little bit brighter this is casement so you can kind of see the difference so this is a little bit warmer white this is victorian lace and this is a little bit brighter white casement so that's why i wanted to paint some swatches for y'all so we could really compare and you can see the difference because i know when you're looking at stuff on a line it could be a little bit different and i want to tell y'all also why I like these paint colors and how I would use them because I know it is so so hard to you know pick paint color so if you want my opinion I will definitely give it to you and hopefully that will make it a little bit easier for you to pick colors so my top favorites if you want to know <laughs> I gotta already tell you but we'll go over it again is the Victorian lace great great white color the little lamb pairs perfectly with everything if you are looking for a nice gray color. I'm obsessed with the Everett and really want y'all to get it and paint some furniture with it and send me pictures. <laughs> and the soapstone, which is what I know for sure I will be using in my house. So I have two different sizes currently of the paint. We have the 500 milliliter and then I also have the sample sizes. So if you're not positive, and you want to order some samples I have samples in every single color that I have also fusion carries milk paint so I did get a few different milk paints I have hotel robe which is a beautiful white color I have vintage laurel which is a beautiful green color and then I also have what is this little back dress little black dress which you know is just classic black so definitely um want to be trying these paints out so if you don't know about milk paint it comes in these packages you mix it with water and then you paint it on it's supposed to give you like this really matte aged look that you see in antique furniture so i am excited about trying these out now i have one more thing from fusion mineral paint um my friend Jackie over at Ruth and Ruby sent me some very nice paint brushes and I have kind of been hooked on them ever since. I have never been a person that needed nice brushes except for angle brushes. I definitely invested in those. Um, but, but yeah, now I'm hooked. If y'all watched my video last week where I painted that breadboard, I used this brush and I think I dipped it in the paint twice. There's just something about these brushes that they hold the paint so you're not sticking it in the paint which more which you know in turn you save more time so they do have a very big brush line i only got a few of them because i wanted to try them out and see the sizes so i feel like these are all really big sizes so i'm definitely going to be ordering some smaller ones also got the wax brush and I feel like the standout favorite right now is the pointed sash because it trims really great and it holds a lot of paint, like I said, and it leaves virtually no brush marks, which is what these brushes are supposed to do. They're supposed to, you know, hold a lot of paint, leave no brush marks and help you be able to paint a lot faster. So this is the pointed sash and it is the 18 inch. And like I said, I'm definitely going to be ordering some smaller sizes in this one. This one is a large oval. Um, I believe it's the, oh, it's the 45. And they say this one is the best one for painting furniture. It's going to cover a lot of surface area. It's going to hold your paint good and it's supposed to leave hardly any brush marks. And then this is the rounded one. This is just perfect for painting all kind of different things, just like the pointed sash. And this one is the 20. And you can't go wrong with just a basic brush. This is the one and a half inch and it has those bristles that hide the brush marks. So this would be perfect for just a variety of different projects. Then I also have the wax brush, which of course every DIYer needs. This is perfect for applying white wax and dark wax, which you know, I usually go for the white wax or clear wax if you have to seal stuff. Those are the current brushes 
that I have. And I also do have the entire set. If you just want to go ahead and invest and, in, and buy the entire set, I have that. And I will definitely be getting more sizes very, very soon. Like I said, I have always invested in good angle brushes because I do not like to prep. So that also means taping off any molding or trim. I'm not doing it. You just get a really good cut in brush and you don't have to do any of that. So this is the Palm Pro um, by Zebra. Zebra. Zebra or Zebra? I'm not positive. <laughs> But I also love the short handle because it is very, very comfortable for those long days of cutting in and the bristles. That is what makes the difference is the nice bristles and you get that nice, clean cut in. So I'm super excited to now be carrying these on my website. So I hope y'all are as excited as I am that I'm now going to be carrying all of these amazing products and this is just the beginning i just plan on to continue to grow from here and i'm excited to have y'all along with me on this journey but that is not the last announcement that i have to make there's one more i kept the best for last because this is just a dream of mine so my dream is not to have a tv show or anything like that my dream is to have my own product line. I have been designing stuff for as long as I can remember. I have figured out how to make these products for myself, make products to resell, but that will only get me so far. The real goal is to be able to mass produce my own designs. I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's the dream, it's not happening yet. But I am starting to do it on a smaller scale. So you may have noticed these pillows that have been in the background the entire time. And if you have been following my channel for a long time, this pillow may look familiar. This is something that I came up with on my channel. I can't remember if it was two years ago, a year and a half ago, and I found a wonderful seamstress and I'm having them made, y'all. Like I said, this is a dream. It's just, you know, it's on a smaller scale, but it is still so, so super exciting to me. So this is the drop cloth pocket pillow. It is made completely out of drop cloth, which, you know, is one of my favorite um, fabrics to use. And you, it doesn't come with a floral, so you can change out the floral, um, you know, to whatever season or whatever goes with your decor. But it is a great lumbar pillow. It does come with the insert, so it is completely enclosed in right here. Um, it will stay exactly like this, and I think it is just, it's just perfection. Um, so that's the first pillow I only have. I think seven of these available because I just didn't know. I didn't know what to order. I didn't know what people would be interested in. So if it happens to sell out on my website, there is an option to put your email in and get on the wait list. So if you are truly interested in a pillow after it sells out, if y'all would fill that out, then I'll know the next time I place an order, okay, I need to, you know, order this many of these and then this is a design that y'all have not seen before. So you know I like very subtle patterns. So this is a church. The entire thing is made of drop cloth. All the edges are frayed. And then it has this cute little wreath right here. I love this. Now this one is just the pillow without the insert. So it's just gonna be a pillow color and it has this great envelope style right here i mean even the back is beautiful i love it so that is the last oh i think i have six of these available but that is the last announcement um once again i hope that y'all are as excited as i am this is literally a little little piece of my dream coming true today and like I said, all of these um, items will be available September 7th. Now the Fusion Paint 
will always be available. So once it goes up, it's, it's going up forever, as well as the paintbrushes and all that stuff. The only new items that get listed every month are my thrift store items. And you know, once those are gone, those are gone. The pillows, if y'all love them, I will definitely, you know, invest in getting some more made. <laughs> And my next goal is to get one of these made. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to find the right handles because I feel like the handles is what makes the bag. So I need the perfect handle. So that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I will see y'all Friday for a DIY video. Um, I think it's gonna be fall stuff, <laughs> but I'm not positive. It's only Tuesday. We haven't gotten to Friday yet, so I'll figure that out later on. And if you love uh, thrift haul videos, I will put a playlist right here. If y'all want to go watch some of my past thrift hauls, y'all have a great day and I will see y'all in the next video.